So Steve, you're using the, the rotor power cranks. Yeah. How, how does power, using power, help you in your training and your racing? It, it quantifies everything you do. So years ago we used to use heart rate monitors and, and, that, and with scientists taught us now that heart rate changes is so variable. I mean you could have two coffees in the morning so your heart rate is elevated or you could be a little bit, a little bit tired, your heart rate's lower. So it wasn't always hitting the zones. With power meters, you you know, if you can do 250 watts, you can do 250 watts. If you can't, you know, you can't do it. And it if you can't do it, then it's, it really shows you time to, to back off. Going back to say beginning of the Tour Series 2010 for you, what were you using then? I was I was actually on a power meter then. Oh, you still on? Yeah, yeah. So I've used. I was. I was quite early into the power mm. thing. Um, I first got a power meter in 2008, so I've got all training bars going back that long, which is pretty cool. Yeah, I, haven't, yeah. I, haven't looked, I haven't really looked at the stuff, but um, and you know, it's, the power meter. It just changes everything you can you know what numbers you can do you know and when you first get power meter you, you just go and try and get the best numbers you can do and then you know from there on we just see you know say you can train is re repeatable it's um quantifiable it's easy to get your head around you know, there's no junk bars anymore you know, gone in the days just going out and riding for five hours aimlessly smashing up hills well there's still an element of that but you know if you go out and do various efforts but having said that power meter is only as good as the coach as well well I was going to talk about you know in terms of coaching are you coaching yourself or are you being coached no or? I've got a uh, coach Stephen Gallagher I've been using him for Hello, Stephen. Um, a lot of years now mm. um, I've had various coaches in the, in the interim but I've always gone back to Stephen because he knows me and it's, you know it's good to have that you know dependability of a coach yeah. you know there's there's coaches and there's trainers, and I think you know a good coach can t tell you the right numbers, but a trainer can say, do this, do that, relax, chill out, do more, go for a beer, yeah. take your friend out. And, and his coaching will be based around yeah, power. power? Yeah, always power numbers. You know, every session will have you know like a, a recommended TSS, which is your overall training stress score, yeah. um, and that's hit by mathematical equipment <laughs> cleverer than I um, yeah. all the power numbers you can hit various things you need to do in the ride yeah. but you don't use power during a race you, you don't look you don't I, no I don't look at, the only thing I see on my um, head unit when I'm mm. racing is is time distance and speed yeah. you know, I don't I don't I don't want to be looking at it because it's just another distraction and it is what yeah. it is if you can follow the wheel you follow the wheel if you yeah. can attack you can attack if you can't you can't yeah. numbers aren't going to tell you to do that yeah. So you still have to be kind of old school in your racing, but it's the training where the power meters come into their own. Final question, in terms of these crits, the Tour Series crits, how do the numbers stack up overall as against a power race, uh, to road race? Just so many sharp efforts. Because, you, because you're quite fatigued between races, you don't, you, you don't go out and do long rides or anything like that. So, but in the races itself, for an hour and ten minutes, you get some, you get some good high spikes and constant spikes. Whereas in a road race, you would have four or five big spikes. But you know, can I reveal yours? Um, they're not massive. <laughs> but I think the highest this week is twelve hundred. Yeah. You know, so they're not that bike on sprint. So. <laughs>